Are you looking for the next craft beer to try? Well, maybe batch number 024 from nowhere in particular is the one for you. Welcome back everybody, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. What are you laughing at now? I like the way you say particular. Particular? <laughs> yeah. Jeez, here we go. Grammar uh, queen here. Yeah. This is batch number 24, Imperial Goza. Zo 024. What did I say? 024, you just said 24. Okay, 24, whatever. Uh, pink Himalayan sea salt and coriander. I did pick this up at Hoffman Street Grocery. $2.89. I think this is like our fifth nowhere in particular beer. Fourth? Particular. I don't like their labels. I'm not reading that can. Whatever. It's scary. This should be right up Jessica's Alley. We'll see about um, that. I don't remember. 7% that like the ABV. One. Did I like the creamsicle one? Yes, I think we did. I mean, you did, but I don't remember if I did or not. Uh, on Untapped, it says no longer in production. So I don't they know. They probably how ran out is. of the Himalayan salt. Yep. Or coriander. Something. She's full of it tonight. Um, almost yellowish head. It's because you make me Small drink bubbles. all of this at once. Whatever. Uh, half a finger of head, bubbles on the side are like bubble wrap. They're spread apart. Tons and tons and tons of bubbles in there. Lots of stuff floating. It almost looks like sea salt. Uh, very cloudy, yellowish in color. It does have like a, jeez, a lighter. She has to be like right up I'm on short, the I'm short, so I'm trying to like move. It has like a Watch little it. lighter color down the center, but do you have stuff floating in yours? I'm fine. Okay. Yeah, it's like sediment. Yep. Okay. And it's okay. Smell. Don't freak out. Makes my wa my mouth water a little bit. Doesn't it yours? I'm gonna. How come you got so much? Here, switch me. You're no. the one that likes it. No, you're good. They know it's uneven here. Always. It almost smells like a diaper. What? Like a fresh diaper when you get it out and you open it. When's the last time you smelled a diaper? I don't know, like four years ago. He was wearing diapers after he came he out. He came out potty trained. What? No, it does not. Yeah, it does. I mean, I know it's the coriander and the tartness, but it smells like a diaper. Let me smell. I'm yours. surprised yours didn't smell like bubble gum. Mine's I a tiny bit. I wonder if anyone bit. else is like, "Oh my gosh, Brad," when you say that. What? It smells like bubble gum. Because it does. Well, yours doesn't smell the same as mine, but it surely well, yeah. does not smell like a freaking diaper. Yours really doesn't have a scent. I thought mine smelled a little bit more. You're crazy. More, um, I don't know, my mouth waters when I smell mine. Like, it, it's not a big, like, sour tart thing. It's a little coriander, a little saltiness, and tart. You Where'd you read that this is no longer in production? You just bought it. Right here. No longer in production. Well, so is this old? No. How do you know? Because they just got it when I picked it up. It's fine. Let's go ahead and taste it. My chair. You just gotta listen to us drink and squeak. There. Okay. The, the sea salt is not going to give it so much flavor, I don't think. Um, I don't really taste coriander. And I've tasted some really heavy coriander beer in my time. This stuff is weird. And... 
I don't like it. I think that I'm not a fan, but that's because, like, I can't... It doesn't really taste like anything. Yeah, it's like the coriander is fighting with the sourness, so it bumps it down. Then you've got, like, that salt in there. So that kind of takes over some stuff, and it's like, blah. I don't really think it tastes sour or no. tart or anything. Mm -mm. But people are drinking it right, I wouldn't say right now, but have. So, yeah. I mean, that good for them. I'm going to give this like a two. Same here. Two. I don't like it. The, for 7%, you can't taste the alcohol, but in a goza, I want goze. I want Why are you that changing sourness. what you say? Huh? Why do you change every time you say it? Because you're going to yell at me one way or another. Mm. It doesn't taste like anything. No. It's got, like, I, that it wants to be sour, tart. Are goes but... supposed to have salt, salty tartness? Is that what a goes is supposed well, to taste like? Well, you should be able to taste some of the salt. And then Maybe not tartness? really the tartness because, like, sea quench. That wasn't really tart. No, but I could drink that now. <laughs> so. That lime. Well, right. But it wasn't like tart, like a sour. Okay. Tart. Yeah, this one doesn't fit the bill for me. Yeah. He said it's right up my alley and he was wrong. Yeah, I was thinking it was. I would, too. Um, four of my friends have had this average 3.5 out of 5. Really? <laughs> yep. Makes me burp, though. 860 people have had this average 3.67 out of 5. Boy. Mike said pretty solid, solid uh, but too much coriander. <laughs> Gives up on some of that gosa balance and lightness for the ABV. Not bad at all. Just that's interesting. Yep. But, yeah. you know. Short right. one tonight. That's all right. We're going to land the plane early. Yep. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Here we go. So, if you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. If you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down. And make sure you subscribe if you are into craft beer. And until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. Happy brewing.